what time is it? Estate sale that's loaded with uh, vintage TVs, some about Emmy Award winning television producer. Engineer. Engineer. About 100 miles out from uh, LA. So a little bit of a road trip, but we're not going to get into all that right now. We'll see what we can do as far as going stealth with the camera. I've been told that they're cracking down on people taking pictures of stuff, which is kind of stupid because that's just free advertising, but I'll see what I can do. Turn the brightness all the way down on the phone and just roll around so the video might be kind of weird. Tell me when. It's going to be a left. Where? In 400 feet. Okay, we got this. Turn left onto East Barringer Drive, then your destination will be on the left. Guy here. Man, this guy, this guy behind me is just up my ass, and he's like swerving all over, over the place. <laughs> Jeez. No, Damn. he's not. Oh man, we got a school bus with reds. Bummer. So maybe it's... there, we're on the left where all the vehicles are. See? Your destination is on the left. Weird. Maybe Chad did come. I mean, what are the odds of there being a school bus here? Here we have an estate sale. From a... <laughs> okay. But legally, I'm not supposed to be able to do These it. These look huh? like ham radio operator yeah, types. They do. Here we have. <laughs> All right. A 1975 Blackbird school bus. So am I allowed to yeah. drive backwards? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna stop it, okay?
This is uh, what I got at the estate sale today. This is a Freshman Masterpiece TRF radio. Uh, cases got some coming apart and, and so on, but it's got uh, five tubes and uh, it's a TRF, so there's no IS section. It's just three tuned circuits that you align to hear the station you want to hear. These were never as good as the super heterodynes that came up later and my serial number is 33595 this was uh, owned by a broadcast engineer at CBS and uh, this has some of the earliest radio tubes um, here are the uh, UV 201s of which several of them are not working uh, open filament and they have four pins and mount in a uh, bayonet style socket and you can see some licensing information attributed to RCA there but uh, we'll see I'd like to see if I could get it going if not with the original tubes with another kind or you know maybe I'm seeing these are not completely unavailable so uh, and then I have the, I guess he was working on it. I have the tops for the power supply binding posts. It actually works with uh, two different types of tubes, potentially. My other acquisition was this Scepter radio, two transistors from Japan. Probably from some time in the 60s. It says Boys Radio Japan on it. And uh, let me get it open. And again, inside you have the speaker, earphone jack, a couple of uh, audio transformers, the antenna coil. There's one wire loose here on the antenna coil. We got to figure out where that goes and a capacitor here that's been. Removed. I think someone was troubleshooting this. And uh, looks like a detector diode there, a 1S80. And the transistors, well, the audio one is a Hitachi 2SB77. And the RF is a 2SA353. So that'll be in a future video.